What's happening, everybody? Welcome to Trivia Rogues Podcast. Billy, Don, and Jeff Anna once again. No Rachel because she is sick. No, her kid is sick. Her kid is sick and therefore does not want to come here to get my kids sick, which I can be grateful for that. I'm grateful she's not getting us sick. Right. Yeah, that's true. So we hope that she gets better and we will see her most likely in a couple of weeks. So today is Super Bowl. And I am doing and I am doing a NFL year in review today. So what's gonna have to happen is I'm gonna do my topic and, and you're gonna, gonna predict to... the winner. I should I should. You we should, should we should all do a prediction. Wait, or you should just you should just talk about the game. Whether the Kansas City Chiefs won, then re re record it as <laughs> and see which one's closer. Oh, we could be tricky. <laughs> <laughs> See how how incredible you are at prognosticating. I, I don't feel like that's going to be a good idea. Well, no, it's going to be a great idea. It's not, I don't think it's going to be an idea. Uh, We're going to have to record anyway, like 60 happen. shows with all different <laughs> score predictions. <laughs> hey, man. We'll 27 see. to 28. Actually, I think. 27 to I think, 29. I think you should make a prediction right now before it starts that he has to stick to. As, as in, because, I mean, what do you guys think? You guys are the football people. All right. I'm going to go. My prediction is somebody's going to the Disney World, and that's about all I'm going to predict. <laughs> I'm going to say 49ers over Chiefs. Nah. And I'm going to say nah. 32 to 24. Too low. Andy I, Reed, I would take the over on that. Andy Reid is going to eat a cheeseburger and go to sleep tonight with his first ever title. Oh. Kansas City's going to win. I don't think it's going to be that high score. Don will be dancing down the aisles with the guy at Hooters. <laughs> I think, uh, oh, yeah, that guy, that Chiefs fan. Um, I think the game's going to start off pretty slow because they're both really good defense. Obviously, 49ers have better defense, but I think Patrick Mahomes will figure it out in the second quarter, and I think it'll be fairly low scoring, though, 27-24 or something like that. I'm still taking the over on both of you. Hey, we'll see. It could. It could. I just don't see if it does go that high, I don't see the 49ers offense keeping up. Before we get into the uh, main segments of the day, we want to make sure we remind everybody about Patreon.com. You know, we put a lot of work into this show. It's a lot of a lot of hard work, very tough to do, a lot of time that we invest into it. So yeah. if you think that we deserve it, if you appreciate the show, you know, consider hopping over there and checking out what we have to offer, um, which is really just you give us money and then we... Say thank you. Say thank you. But we are, we will be having some, uh, me and Don are in the talks of getting that... Uh, Bonus stuff out. Yeah. And how to coordinate that and get it online and everything else. So, because when we started this podcast, we didn't know what we were doing. You know, so this is all. As compared to now. Now. Yeah. I mean, we, <laughs> we know a little bit more than we did now because I'll tell you what, because of uh, the second show, I know for a fact that we have grown significantly. So. Interesting. Don't worry about it, Don. You'll figure it out. So, no sneak. spoiler, it's coming. Sneak preview <laughs> of the next episode. Yeah, so check it out. Patreon.com slash Trivia Rogues and uh, check it out. Uh, with that, let's go ahead and jump into the stuff for today. All right. Uh, I guess I'll start off with a quiz. Okay. Entertainment. Will we, It'll will be an entertaining be, quiz? Yeah. Are we going to be entertained or is it about entertainment? Um, You'll get a few right. <laughs> Yes, that's how you always like. Sounds like he's going to be entertained. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. The people I asked these questions to did not do well. Number one, what is the longest running reality TV series that is still on TV? And I will give you a hint. The show premiered in 1989. Is real world still a thing? I couldn't tell you. Big Brother. Okay. I don't know Big Brother. That's very decisive. It is cops. Uh, I would have also accepted Survivor because some people, obviously, cops is reality TV and it's a yeah like a kind of a documentary thing. I would have also accepted Survivor. Cops has been on since eighty nine. Survivor's been on since two thousand. But but cops they have stopped stopped making stuff for a while, didn't they? No, cops has gone straight through the whole time. However, cops is still like they, they never stopped. They have one season every year and. Like Survivor has thirty six seasons already. Well, since two thousand, so they do like almost two a year, I think. Well, Survivor needs to stop. Yeah, but I would have accepted either one. So Survivor is like the Fast and the Furious of TV. Yeah, just easy. All right, number two. 
This famous film director is best known for films such as Clockwork Orange, The Shining, Spartacus, and 2001 A Space Odyssey. I'm going to go ahead and pass. (laughs) Stanley Kubrick. Stanley Kubrick. I actually knew that one. Did you? Yeah. Nice. That's why he passed it. But because, uh, well. I usually pass He's an assist master. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if you would let me guess, that's who I would have said. Uh, If I had to let you guess. (laughs) When he went, (laughs) eh, pass. (laughs) (laughs) The way that sounds is completely accurate. Well, to be fair, Jeff was like raising his hand over there, so. Yeah, yeah, I figured he was just so excited. I was just letting him know that if. Yeah. I was open. I was trying one of those languages. Pass to me. That's why I passed. I think you guys will do well on this next one, too. This band with Billy Talbot on bass nope. and oh. Ralph Molina on drums, since they began in 1969, released six studio albums on their own. However, Jeff, stop shaking your head, they are best known for backing legendary frontman Neil Young. He always seems to run back to them. He runs back to them? That is not a hint. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> I, so I don't know. backing band, it's Crazy Horse. There it is. That's right. <laughs> Where'd that horse? Go? You got to throw a laugh in there. <laughs> oh well, yeah. Uh, all right, number four. Oh, Big Bird's only been on since two thousand. Yes, I thought it was on since the nineties at least. Hmm. Okay. Wrong. Shut up. All right, number four. Who said this famous movie quote? Carpe diem. Seize the day, boys. Make your lives extraordinary. Robin Williams? I was I was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> That's what I'm, I mean, wait. Was Robin Williams acceptable? Is an actor acceptable? Yeah. I'm going to say that then. Okay. I'll go with Billy. You go with that? Do you know what movie? Uh, oh, Dead, Dead Poets Poet Society. Society. There you go. Bingo. Very good. All right. Number five. This famous novelist wrote John Barleycorn, Valley of the Moon, Martin Eden, and The Star Rover. Wait. wait you said East of Eden? Yeah. <laughs> No, oh. Martin Eden. Martin Eden. I, I was thinking about it. I, I heard Eden. I'm like, oh. I, I have for a while. strategically left this person's two most famous novels. I was going to hope so when you said he was a famous novelist. <laughs> Jeff, I'm sorry, but none of those sound these, these are the, like, he's got his two, and then these are right underneath, and he's got a ton of them. So he has two, and then he has the rest of them. The two that are dead giveaways, yes. And then the, and then the rest of them. Yeah. Okay, good. I just make sure I was clear about the way he said it. So was it John Barleycorn, Martin Eden? Who else? Uh, so it was John Barleycorn. Cool name. Valley of the Moon, Martin Eden, and the Star Rover. Maybe we should look into John Barleycorn because Traffic did a song about him called John Barleycorn Must Die. And now we have a book about John Barleycorn. Now I'm curious. Yeah, now we had one in 1905. Yeah, <laughs> That's when this was written? Yeah. Oh. I'm at a loss. Got nothing. Well, if we're going way back then, or ninth, it was somewhere around there. Yeah. Wait, the song was written. The one, the 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 novel, the novel, 1905. Oh, jeez. Oh yeah, this is a classic. Fitzgerald, classic writer. It's not F. Scott. No. I, you know what? It, it's not going to be any good just to sit with one date. And... He also wrote. Uh, I'll give you a hint. He also wrote White Fang. Oh, Jack London. It is Jack London. You know, it's funny. Like. <clears throat> One of my all-time favorite authors, but I mean, obviously, I don't know all this stuff, but just the stuff that I have read, I've loved. Mm-hmm. I but want to read some of it, some more of his stuff. What's weird is that because I've only read Call of the Wild and White Fang. Yeah, well, uh, the Sea Wolf is really good too, but um, yes, and uh, like I thought about that, I'm like, man, I love Jack London. I'm gonna go see if I can find them. So you go to Barnes and Noble, they, all they ever have is those three. Yeah, That's just all they have. Just order them on Amazon because the the, the well, ones I I'm, mentioned are I'm huge. I'm a brick and mortar guy, Don. Yeah, I know. And he'd really complain about not being able you to have, find the books. You have Prime. <laughs> know. You have Prime. You could literally, in your pajamas, order the book and have it here tomorrow. Yeah. On your back porch. Yeah. Front porch. No. My I use it. Yeah, it just doesn't matter. So it's the Alexa <laughs> little green ring saying you have a notification. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> By the way, we're on Alexa. You're what? We're on Alexa. Yeah, I heard that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my wife yesterday said, play Trivia Rogues. I'm like, you know, that is way, way, way too convenient. Mm-hmm. Don't need to be hearing our voices that easily. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> People should be so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Number six. Let's go with some characters now. So this film included characters 
Ray and Annie Kinsella, Terrence Mann, this <laughs> is Jeff already, and Archibald Graham, Dr. Archibald Graham. Make, those, make those Billy last answer two this. sounded so familiar. Make mm. Billy answer this. Are the, is the first one the main character? Yes. Um, yeah. Really? The one Ray the, Kinsella. <clears throat> Terrence and can I give him a hint? Archibald. Those are the ones that you sound can. familiar. Uh, doctor's nickname was Moonlight. I was going to give that hint, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh. He's thinking Beethoven now. Is it the... Um... Darth Vader is in this movie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, the movie? Yeah. Darth Vader's voice, should I say, not his Not real the little actor. figurine that's on the... Oh, wait a minute. Is that... Uh, you said a doctor? It's, is it it's doctor something? It's Dr. Graham, but it's Moonlight his, Graham. Yeah, his nickname was Moonlight. I don't know. Field of Dreams. Field of Dreams. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Wait, was that... That was a book? Mm-hmm. All right, number seven. This band, famous for their albums, OK Computer, Kid A, and Pablo Honey, got their band name from a Talking Head song released in 1986. OK Computer They're, sounds familiar, like Weezer that, or Beck or that's somebody. That's probably like that. one of their bigger ones. They are Radiohead, OK Computer. No, no. Oh, that's possibility too. That, yeah, that something like I, that. It sounds. It's one of those. I think. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, I think that's Radiohead. It is Radiohead. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So they apparently they had a different name. I couldn't find out what their original name was. Uh, maybe they had several. And in like '89 or something, they heard this uh, Talking Head song from '86 called Radiohead, and they changed their name to Radiohead. I am. I am still shocked at how big they are. They're not. They're not my style, but man, mm-hmm. it seems like everybody loves Radiohead. Yeah. All right. Number eight. Billy in Game of Thrones. Don't worry, Jeff. What was Hodor originally? <laughs> I, I can set this one out. Yeah, yeah, you can Thank set you. this one out. What was Hodor originally called before he held the door? Oh my goodness, dude! <laughs> You're you uh, name because he held the door. Hodor. He uh. Spoiler he, alert. He had a yeah. Oh man! It basically, an event traumatized him, and all he could say was Hodor after that. It was like hold the door, like melded together. Hmm. I I can't think of it. What you talk about, Willis? It was Willis. Really? Yeah. I wasn't even close. W Y L I S too. Yeah. Wasn't even close. All right, number nine. Lin Manuel Miranda was inspired to write this after he pick picked up and read a book by historian Ron Chernow in two thousand and eight. Getting blinks. This I'm is, getting blank is stares. Poorly, isn't it? I got it. You yeah. you got it. Jeff, we're a team. <laughs> he likes uh, hanging you out to dry. Think, look, look, think, look, look, look. Think huge musicals in the last five years. Hamilton. There you go. Oh, that makes sense. That's like supposed to be the Ron Chernow Alexander Hamilton is supposed to be like one of the best biographies ever written though. Hmm. But it's I, I almost bought it. It's like seven hundred and something pages. I'm like, oh that all right number 10 <laughs> i'll just go see the damn show right right <laughs> number 10 this is a closest to the pin so you two will be facing off how many S- see we just talked about teamwork and then yeah it's out the window yep, out the window uh how many seasons are there old and new of the british sci-fi show doctor who oh, good lord a lot <laughs> I, i'll say a lot plus one dang it he's gonna win <laughs> Jeff won. he's gonna win <laughs> i'll give you a hint they did not Go straight through. They did take a break. There's an old and a new version of the show. I have a guess. Me too. What you got? 36. I said 21. I went Ooh, low. I think it's 38. Let me look at my papes. 38, Jeff. Yeah, see, I I, I was scared, so I went low. Mm-hmm. Dang it. Yeah. That's a lot. They, dude, they were on for a long The The original show was like 26 seasons, I think. Well, how right. many different Doctor Whos have there been? Oh, I'm I'm not even getting into that. I think there were, like, it's going to be hard to even find the answer. I think there were, like, ten of them in the original show. Uh, that is one of the biggest shows of all time. I'm really certain you can find this pretty easily. Well, because I had to sit there and count all the seasons to make sure the thing was right.